you know today we're in Northampton Massachusetts on North King Street and we're inside the Hebrew Society Cemetery this cemetery's earliest burial is 1895 of a Rachel Weinstein and next to it is another cemetery the Congregation of Benai Israel Cemetery they probably bought land from this society to make their own cemetery and inside of here there's a lot of family groupings that's the big difference from most Jewish cemeteries and here you'll see lots of different families in most Jewish cemeteries you'll see individual stones next to each other very close so it's probably also a burial society which is very common in the Jewish religion and it has it like I said 1895 burial and then there's an 1889 burial um, in 1901, a burial of a child was gold. And then a student at the Clark School, he was about 11 years old, Alexander Stone. Right, so those are some of the earliest burials inside of here. Now, the society itself is um, somewhere inside of Northampton. It's probably somewhat connected to the B'nai Israel Synagogue. Um, they used to have social societies and burial societies, so forth. And what I'm going to do to end this off is I'm going to take the camera and walk around the cemetery so you can see the family orientation of these stones. Right, for instance, I just mentioned the family orientation of the stones instead of individual. This is the Levi family with the individual stones in front, four of them. And then they had more room and they put a, a gravestone back here with a flat stone in front of it. So it's a nice arrangement compared to most uh, Jewish cemeteries. It's a different way of doing it for sure. In the distance, through the trees, you can see the other cemetery, which is mostly based on individual stones. This is the Cohen. You can see an individual one back there, and more Cohen. And I'm going to walk to the back of the cemetery. It's not very big. And back here, you can see some children are buried age two. Jacob and Fanny Gold died September 24th, 1901, two months, three days. Supposedly, they died the same day. Alexander Stone, I mentioned him, December 27th, 1904, age nine months old. I'm sorry, nine years old. Abraham Hirsch, infant son of Abram Hirsch, died 1906. Then modern stones, and then this one's inscribed totally in Hebrew. All right, so I'm going to walk back now. There's hardly any barrels down through the middle, but there's more family groupings off to the side here. What probably happened is uh, in 1906 when the synagogue formed, that stopped the individual burials and mostly you get only family burials after that. So Cone, Cone, there's four different Cone families and enormous gravestones in here. I, I mentioned Ab Abraham Sherwin died 1899. This is his family stone with his wife Hannah, father, mother, daughter, Sussman, and William. So a very nice way of doing this. And the last really big stone is Lewis Sherwin towards the front. Okay, he died in 1920. Alright, so thank you for coming to this beautiful cemetery.